I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for NoBSCoachingAdvice.com and JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. And the scenario I want to pose today for you business leaders is, are you following up or checking up? And that came across in an email I received from my friend Jeff Nishowitz, uh, a business coach out of Cleveland, I believe, or out of Ohio, uh, who posed that scenario, talking about how for many leaders, delegation is a good thing, but the problem that they have is when they're, whether they follow up or check up. See, following up is a way of empowering employees, as, as Nishwitz comments. You know, if you're checking up, you communicate lack of trust in an individual. And that leads to something else that I'm going to uh, add on to what Jeff writes. You see, the impact, you know, to you it's no big deal because you're not on the receiving end. I want to invite you to be on the receiving end and perhaps remember situations from your past where you were uh, checked up on uh, by a former manager. You see, the result for you is you're really left with a few choices about how to respond. You can give them pushback or try and change your boss, and that's really what you know, you're inviting people to do is right off the bat, you're in a situation of friction with your people. You, know, you, you can um, try and influence your boss, uh, and sometimes they're going to try and be persuasive to back off uh, in gentle ways, saying that they have things handled and you know, communicate with you in a way that suggests that you know, maybe you need to change. The third way is you know, acceptance, but for most employees, you know, acceptance and resignation go hand in hand because eventually the grind of being checked up on wears them down sufficiently that you don't get your best effort from. But worst of all, well, as bad as that latter scenario is, where they become resigned and you're not getting you know, best effort from them, you're getting adequate effort to basically shut you up, you wind up causing uh, losing them altogether. Because after a while, you know, they stop caring and they realize this isn't a place for them. So, you know, I want to... I want to springboard off of Jeff's comments uh, about checking up versus following up and encourage you to follow up with people. Learn how to do it differently so that they don't feel, and this is the dreaded employee term, micromanaged. You know, just invite them to you know, review with you where, the, where they are. Uh, do it on a regular basis, but don't suddenly turn your office into a police state. Hope you found this helpful. Hope it's completely unnecessary for you and hope you have a great day. Take care.